everybody, Nella Drown, welcome back to Blood of the Rose. I, I'm sorry, I always start over at the title screen, but um, excuse this for a sec. But title one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. All right. Yes, it it's unlocked. Now I can keep going. Here's our first instance of blood in this house. So what you need to do is go up here. Um, since we're kind of going on a time limit here, um, I'll explain what happens. So. This is Arthur's room, uh, if you can read up here. I just pointed at the screen, but you obviously can't tell. Um, you inspect a few paintings. Here, we'll just check this painting. It's an old painting of a girl hung up on a wall. What a beautiful girl. This is strange. I feel like I should recognize her from somewhere. Painting. The painting certainly shows its age. It's at least 50 years old. She's probably an old lady by now, or she's not alive anymore. Al? Yeah? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. So, what you do next is you check this letter. I'll let you guys do this on your own. Mainly because I'm jealous. Um, no, I'm not. I'm better than that. Kind of. But, you check this, and uh, you guys, if you're playing along, you find out what happens. Since we're on a time limit. Alright, so I'll let you see some of it. She may be dead and gone too. Hold on a second. Something tells me that's not entirely true. The name Charlotte does ring a bell. Fifty years ago, she probably must have been younger than Arthur. So with this in mind, is Charlotte really dead? Exactly. If she was really close with the family, then there's a strong possibility she would still be alive to remember the events of fifty years ago. Which can only mean one thing. Of course, that must be it. Grand's real name is Charlotte. She has to be the same girl from 50 years ago. W what What did you say? Arthur, I think I've worked it out. Charlotte is not dead. W what What are you talking about? Two years ago, when Matthew and I moved into the village, we met an old lady who was called Charlotte. Even though we call her Gran because we got to know each other. She used to tell you about your family from 50 years ago. She was the only person from the village who was very close to your family. And the only one alive who remembers the attacks and the tragedy. She loved doing art like you. She, she told me she learned about it from a young man 50 years ago. So, are you saying? Yes, it all makes sense now. Same girl you knew and loved is still alive. She was taught how to draw and paint. By you, Arthur Kirkland. Arthur? Charlotte? I thought she was dead. I had no idea that she was still alive. I'm sorry. No, Alfred. It's not your fault for how I reacted. I love Charlotte so much. I didn't want to lose her. Like how I lost my mother. But that was cut short when the mobs came. But Arthur, don't worry about it. If you want me to be honest with you, I'm glad she's still alive. She was the most wonderful girl I've ever loved. I would give any, anything in the world just to see her beautiful smile again. But, 
I knew that's never going to happen. Because I'm not alive anymore. I've been dead in this tra and trapped in this house for 50 long years. Alright. So, next, you need to go... I wouldn't recommend going over here unless you like loud sounds, so here we go! Yikes! Looks like we'll have to go back. Good idea! These two rooms will be important later. Uh, soon. So, let me think. Yeah. Alright, you need to check this room. Uh, hold on. Ow. What's up, Arthur? I remember this room. It's my father's office. Oh, I see. Let's check it out. Okay. Alfred and Arthur went to the room that used to be the king's office. When they went in, they were for a nasty shock. Matthew is down the floor. I'm so sorry. It's not really. What the? Oh my god. There's no mistake. It's blood. <gasps> I, I don't understand. Why is there blood here? That must be it. I think someone was murdered here. M murdered? Any idea who? Hmm. No, that is a good question. Oh, this isn't Matthews. Please be alive, brother. No. Arthur? It it can't be. What is it? What's wrong? Please stop. Why are you doing this to me? I do deserve this. Please stop it now, I'm begging you. Shut up. You are a traitor to our ally. You are a traitor to our land. I don't... You are the one who killed the queen, didn't you? That's not true. Father? Wait, what are you doing with that? Put that down, this is madness. Long live the king. Father, n no, don't do this! No! Arthur, stop freaking me out like that. Alfred, this blood was my father's blood. W what? This was your father's? Yes, my father was murdered in this very room. Oh my god. I was outside watching through the door. It was some kind of argument between my father and someone else in this room. I couldn't identify who it was exactly, but the argument only lasted for a while. And then... I heard gunshots peeking through the door. My heart was in my mouth. And there I saw him. Blood spattered on the wall. His body lifeless and limp against the floor. My father was shot in the heart four times. He was never attacked by the mobs. He was murdered right in front of me. I was scared the whole time. Arthur, I'm really sorry. No, it's okay, Al. I still feel for father. And I know he'll wait for me, with the rest of my family, on the other side.
there's nothing else in here, so. And run out of this room. Damn, can't get it open. I can go in and have a look. But how? I can't get the door open. I'm a ghost, idiot. I can pass through doors. Oh, I get it. Right, I won't be long. I'll wait for you out here. So, this room is nice and clean, despite the fact that the bed is almost man-made. So, what you need to... Is there an invisible block? No? Okay. Check this. There's an old diary on the table. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to read a page or two. Third March. Miss Nunnally was crying by herself again. It couldn't be helped, though. The whole family was still mourning over the milady's death. The mother... His Majesty was also going through a tough time. It must have been hard for him, having to cope with the loss of his wife. I tried to comfort Miss Nunnally as much as I could, but it didn't work. She was often alone, since the young masters Peter and Arthur always teased her. Master Peter often got his older brother involved, but as for Master Arthur, he didn't like teasing his own little sister. I could see it in his eyes. Miss Nunley would lie on her older brother. If she was scared on something, he was there for her. He would hug her if she was afraid, sad, or lonely. Mr. Arthur was always caring for her. Mr. Arthur had a kind, has a kind heart, just like his mother. He loves his family more than anything in the whole world. I know I'm just a maid of this family, but I do admire the generosity. You are the most kindest and generous family I've ever worked with. It is a blessing. Here we are. I'm scared. Natalie. That's right. Now I remember. Natalie was my little sister. I better go and tell Alfred. Hey, dude, you're back. I didn't take too long, did I? Nope. So, did you find anything? Yes, I did. I found an old diary on the desk. It was the maid's diary. It said a little bit about what happened to our family after my mother died. And I remembered something else. What was it? It was about Menelie. She was my sister. Your sister? Yes. Nunnally was younger than me, but older than Peter. Ah. According to the diary, Peter got me involved in teething Nunnally. Why would he do that? It wasn't my idea. Peter was young and messing about. Other than that, there wasn't anything else. Hey, Arthur. Can we go and investigate her room? Nunnally's room? Why? Maybe then we'll keep- oh, oh, he's not British. Maybe there are more clues in the room. We can check it out. Never know what we'll find in there. You're right, Al. Let's keep going. No, we're not gonna keep- oh. Mm. You know what, we're gonna end it here. Uh, you don't really need to know this stuff. You just go off memory. Alright, Melodron, and I'll see you in the next episode.